In this example, we will walk through the multiplication of two uh, numbers. Each number is represented in two's complement form. And this is a four bit number. And so this here is uh, the multiple and, and this is minus one, and this is the multiplier, this is minus one. <clears throat> the first step is to um, create the partial product. So what we do is we take this and we just uh, multiply with this. So this is this um, number here. And here we do the same thing with this, multiply this, and we shift left one place and then the third one the same thing now the fourth one because this is a, a negative number and it will have a negative uh, one times one it will produce a, a negative one right here and for these three, it'll be negative one, but here, this one, it'll be negative and negative, so that makes a positive. Now, one thing I have done is uh, I have drawn a square around the negative bit, and I'll, I have also highlighted it, because uh, it's kind of difficult to keep track of which is negative, which is positive unless you, you know, highlight it and it uh, gets uh, very confusing otherwise and it's easy to make a mistake. So the next thing we have to do, we have to add these partial products. So here I just copied these two here and then I just added those. Now this one just the bet comes down and these two are positive and we add them. So we have a carry out and then the sum is zero. So this one, we add uh, these three bets and then sum is one and carry out is one. Now here, this is like a, a person might not be familiar with uh, we are adding one negative bet and two positive bets. <clears throat> In this case, carry out is positive and sum is negative. So we have um, uh, uh, the sum of these uh, three bet is positive one. And so we have carry out is one, so that's a two minus one, that's um, that. <coughs> <coughs> and two minus one, and that's one, and that's what we have. You have minus one and one, zero plus one. So this one here, we just adding two bits, and here the carry out is negative and the sum is positive. So minus one and one zero. And then this one, the carry out, we just copy it down below. So this is the result we have. And we expect uh, three times minus one, the result to be minus three. So that's what it is. It's um, one right here, four and minus eight, so minus three. And the next one, we just copy these, this one here, and then the partial product too. And we just add it just like before, these up, no, this, these just come down, and this one carry out is one, and the sum is zero. And here, 
again we add two ones and one negative one so carry out is uh, one and sum is negative one and this one here just uh, two pa three positive bits so uh, sum is zero carry is one so this one here two bits negative one bit positive carry out is negative sum is um, positive so uh, this is zero and this zero is negative so we just bring this down so the sum here we expect it to be seven times minus one so that's what it is one minus eight minus seven so the last step we just copy this this is the partial sum and then here we add now one thing we have to keep in mind this is bit is one so one minus one minus one minus one so that we cop, uh, copy down here so this one here we just copy these three bits and this is two bits are negative so the sum carry out is negative sum is positive and here two bits are negative again so carry out is negative the sum is positive again two bits are negative sum is negative uh, sum is zero uh, positive carry out is negative so negative and negative plus one that gives a zero and the sum is uh, it's a negative number so this is zero so this one here we just bring it down of course as we expected uh, the result is one minus one times minus one it's one it's uh, this can be expanded to maybe even 64 bits 32 bits is just a matter of just uh, going through and implementing maybe in Verilog C++ or NAND gates or 